Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am walking and having a good time in an American neighborhood. And as an engineer, I have my reflections on what we can adopt and what we can learn. So this is a typical uh, American neighborhood. And this work not only reveals uh, just houses, but also it reveals how we can have safe walking paths. We can take care of cyclists. We can ensure our children enjoy our cities and how we can make our cities green. As a Kenyan engineer, what can we learn from these spaces? And how can we apply these ideas to make our own communities more livable, inclusive, and green? This is the question I asked myself as I enjoyed my time and got to appreciate infrastructure. So stick around and let's explore together. So you can see in this neighborhood, the footpaths of the pedestrian walkways are safe and they are continuous. Another thing is where you have the pedestrian crossings, we have universal access. There are ramps so someone in a wheelchair can navigate well in this neighborhood. And also you have tactile paving, which is important. has been planned by who the kyle city or this, this, the developers? this is a community built by dr horton but it was approved by the city of kyle oh okay and hayes county yes yeah, so you can see they're using concrete interesting you can see they're using concrete and yeah it's really nice and neatly done I also visited a community which was being developed and what was standing out for me was already the civil infrastructure had been constructed. You can see the road has been constructed, the pedestrian walkway has been constructed, street lights are in place, water had been provided, sewer has been provided and even a way leave had been provided and land set aside for overflow water as you're thinking about climate change. So when you're doing new neighborhoods, we need to set aside or provide a way in which all the water can be channeled to the outfall so that we avoid the problems of flooding which normally happen in our neighborhoods. The other thing which I noted were communities had open spaces or a land whereby it was communal land and this is where you were getting play areas for the children, swimming pools and uh, good spaces which were actually very special. So we normally fail to set aside uh, some land uh, for communal activities. So this is something which we can adopt at least for every estate when you're planning some space should be left aside it was not just small space but very big space with very good infrastructure 
so that people can have time to enjoy in such locations. As a mother, I was able to enjoy the infrastructure even with my little one. It was when I was here whereby I was walking every day. You can see I could just use a stroller and push my girl in the neighborhood. And this is something which is so hard for us to do back home. So we really enjoyed the environment, more so because of the NMT provision. But also, as you can note, all the houses at least have to, you have to have two trees in front of your house. So they're also encouraging greening in the community. Then even children were enjoying cycling in this community. Also, the other thing is you can see proper road signs have been provided for, even in the middle of the estate, and everyone is following these signs. So what were my key takeaways? My key takeaways were, first, let us have universal design principles as you're doing our projects, and accessibility audits can be done when you do public infrastructure. So open spaces, uh, public spaces can be accessible to all. Uh, with our new building code, uh, it enforces inclusivity. Next, we can have uh, integrated playgrounds in housing and urban design. So we can work with counties to reclaim idle land for parks. And also we can promote safety and also maintenance as you're doing that. We should also include urban forestry in road and housing projects. We can update our laws to mandate tree planting by all home owners. Then um, we can also partner with residents for the greening programs. So we don't need to reinvent the wheel. We just need to have a vision, smart design and commitments so that we can transform our neighborhoods as Kenyans.